welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today's video is something a little bit different. I asked in one of my previous videos whether you would like to see some kind of more organisational like decluttery type of videos because as I've mentioned in previous videos me and my sister are moving out of our flat at the moment and I've been doing loads of like decluttering makeup and clothes and things like that and loads of you are kind of here for that. Loads of you really wanted to see like a makeup declutter so that's what I've got for you today. Something a bit different to the theatre stuff but loads of my theatre makeup is in this declutter. I was strict with myself because I'm a bit of a hoarder sometimes. I'm very like sentimental and I like to keep hold of like lipsticks from different shows, some that are very much past their prime. Um, but I try to be really good and really strict with myself. So yeah, um, if you like those types of videos, keep watching. Um, it's really nice because I kind of go through some of my makeup from old shows I've been in, chat about the shows a little bit as well. So it's kind of like a nice little walk down theatre memory lane. Before we get into the video do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already just click the red subscribe button down below and give the video a thumbs up if you like it and yeah I'm gonna get into the video now. This is me decluttering my entire makeup and skincare, not very much skincare, collection. Hope you enjoy. Okay dokie first drawer and this drawer is the bits and bobs drawer. This is just like where brushes, cotton buds and like random bits, oh there's a brush in there, that's what I meant to be in there. Um, accumulate um you know like everyday stuff like this is my brush that i use this is the tangle teaser i really like it it's really good for getting through my naughty hair i've heard that the wet brush is actually um a lot better and loads of people have been recommending it so i'm definitely going to give that a try but for now this is going to stay oh and i've got this which is so so good for cleaning brushes it's like a little soap that you swirl your brushes around in really really good for cleaning them it's soy based um i really like it uh, what else is in here this is like my go-to eyeshadow palette so this is the Too faced chocolate gold palette and it looks a little bit snazzy for every day but i really just love using it for these shades over here so it's the um oh my god i can't aim yeah i use like these shades over here so this one and this one and this one there's a hair on it classy the other shades are really cool as well but obviously not for every day um but yeah this is just this is just where i keep this the everyday reaching then i've got just cotton buds oh hello this is like my teeth sensitivity thing for my teeth whitener um this is where i keep contact lenses and this is the perfume that lympha got me for christmas this is my favorite joe malone perfume this is velvet rose and oud it smells amazing so i'll definitely be keeping that look at this <laughs> this is a setting spray from nyx this is the matte finish setting spray um i used this at an audition the other day and oh my god my makeup didn't budge i was thinking of maybe doing like an audition makeup look um showing you what i actually wore to this specific dance audition because my makeup looked really good for me and didn't oh shoosh and didn't budge um so if you'd like to see a video on that look please let me know and i will do it some nail scissors really exciting um yeah these are like for my teeth whitening this is my little teeth whitening teeth thingies this is a really cute little mirror that our choreographer got me for christmas um on pantone i just think it's so pretty it's just a little mirror and it says once upon a time on it and it's got cinderella and the prince on it oh yeah and a face mask as well i've been wanting to use that my friend sarah got me this was another panto present very cinderella themed um gifts which were also lovely um i need to use this so i'm gonna pop that back in and use that when i have a bit of time so yeah everything in this drawer I just need to tidy it up a bit it's gonna stay tweezers yeah nothing much to remove from there so i think that's all pretty good to stay oh my gosh this draws an absolute mess this is just awful this was organized and now it's just really not but i need to get rid of loads of stuff from anyway there's some pins this is like the most messy thing ever this is a brush that i use for blusher and i don't know if it actually is very good because it's quite beefy um so i think, think i'm gonna put that on the get rid of pile um eyelash curlers very very handy we'll be keeping those hourglass ambient lighting powder i have had this for ages and i've still not used it up it's a really beautiful powder it's just so luminous and beautiful so i'll be keeping that um this is mac gingerly i think this is a bit orange for me um i don't know it's quite cool like if you're going for like a statement blush but i don't know i kind of like it um, I might keep it and try and use it a bit more. L'Oreal back to bronze. I'm only keeping this because it's my only bronzer. Ooh. Oh, actually, no, it's not. I've got another one there. I'm going to get rid of this because I don't really like how it looks on my skin. Oh my gosh, the Nars Fort de France highlighter is beautiful. I've nearly used it all up. I've had it for quite a while, actually. Um, but that is really gorgeous. It needs a bit of a clean, but it's gorgeous. So I'm going to be keeping that. Some eyelash glue. Always handy. This bronzer 
I've had for years, but it's so beautiful. This is a Clarins, oh sorry. This is a Clarins bronzer and it's one of their limited edition summer bronzers and it's beautiful and I love it. Um, so I'm gonna be keeping that. This is a L'Oreal highlighter. It's the infallible, it's such a mess. I can't even open it because it'll all fall apart. Infallible long wear shaping strobe stick or something. Um, but yeah, it's quite a nice like creamy. I wouldn't, definitely wouldn't rebuy it, but it's good. I'm gonna use it up because, you know, may as well, waste not, want not. Elf liquid eyeliner, really good, really dirty. I need to actually just sort my life out really a bit, don't I? This drawer kind of resembles my life at the moment. <laughs> this is a good like, thin liquid eyeliner, so I'm gonna keep that. Um, an old collection lasting perfection definitely gonna throw that away l'oreal life's a peach really like this blusher really nice um for like the summer this is something that's been at the back of my drawer and i haven't used it one maybe like once or twice i don't even really know what it is i got it on a show it's i think it's like a powder foundation um i don't know but i'm gonna take that into mac and recycle it because I never use it and it's probably out of date. This is something that I've never opened. This is the Nip and Fab Viper Venom Micro Blur Smoothing Primer. Um, I actually haven't used it in my defense because when I bought it just afterwards, I started using, hang on, where is it? This night cream. Um, and then I got really bad breakouts and I didn't know whether it was this. So I just stopped using it and never opened this. Um, so I'm really scared to use it and I don't know whether I can use it now. I've had it for quite a while. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna get rid of both of these, which is such a waste of money, but I get so terrified of ruining my skin. So I'm gonna get rid of those. This was an SPF. Again, at the same time that my skin went bad was when I bought this. And so I don't know if this was the culprit. I've also had this now for quite a while. These are all so dirty, please forgive me. 12 months. Mm, have I had it? Maybe, maybe I need to give this a bit more of a chance because I don't know if this was the culprit. So I might try, try and use it a bit more and see if my skin breaks out. Oh, horrible. Another primer. I'm gonna get rid of this because I don't really use it ever. I don't really use primer anymore. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm wrong, but I just don't know if it actually does anything. So I'm gonna get rid of this and yes, move on with my life. These little drawers I just got from Amazon. This whole drawer is so dirty, so please ignore it. This is a brush that I never use, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, and an old mascara. Oh, what's that? This is another brush from Real Techniques that I actually never use. I don't even know what I would use that for. Eyeliner, I guess? But I never use it anyway, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, and then this is the NYX Wonder Pencil. It's, yeah, it's kind of like a waterline like nude pencil to make your eyes kind of stand out it's actually really good so i'm gonna keep that i'm actually moving out so i'm gonna keep everything out anyway so i'm gonna pack it all up and clean these drawers out for when i move again okay moving up onto my dressing table these are a few of the skincare bits still don't have a skincare routine need help don't know what to do starting with some skincare bits i've got this this is really really good this is the la roche posay effeclard duo it's really good for if you've had acne um yeah really helps with like scarring and stuff uh, I don't really like the smell, but I like the product itself. Then we've got some Mac Fix Plus, which is brilliant. This is a fairly new one, so I'm going to keep hold of it. Really like Mac Fix Plus. This serum I really, really used to love, so I just repurchased it, and now I'm not really much of a fan. It's quite sticky. Um, so if anyone has any good serums that they'd recommend please let me know because i really used to like this one but i'm not so sure about it anymore but i am gonna use it up but yeah if anyone's got any recommendations for a good serum hit me up this is like a facial spray which is you can kind of use as like a light primer which courtney got me for christmas and it's lovely i really like it and i really like the mario badescu stuff i was a big fan of the drying lotion um when my skin was quite bad so yeah really really been enjoying this so i'm gonna keep that then this is actually really good for tanning your face it's the clarins um like bronzing cream um just use a tiny bit and i kind of mix it in with moisturizer when i have moisturizer um but it's really really nice for adding a bit of a tan to your face i probably should put some on today because i'm looking quite ill <laughs> moving over here we've got quite a few mac lipsticks um of which i am going to try and cut down on because i just don't need all of these so let's have a look um we've got really nearly run out so i'm gonna get rid of that that was mac peach blossom really nice but also quite melted i don't know how that happened then we've got mac russian red that is quite old that one so i'm gonna get rid of that one because i've definitely got another one of those and then we've got mac bombshell oh that's quite an interesting pink let's have a look 
That is not really nice, but I don't think I'll actually ever wear that. So I'm going to give that to Courtney. Um, because I think that already suit her. Uh, then we've got Mac Ruby Woo. Is this a new one? Mm, that's like a really old one and gross. So I'm going to get rid of that one. Paramount. What's that? Ooh. That is really quite an interesting colour. But I don't think I'll actually ever wear that. So I'm going to get rid of that one too. What's this? Faux. Classic. Gotta love faux. I'm keeping that. Ooh, pink Nouveau. Ooh, another really pink one. I don't know why I have these. I feel like these are from Beautiful. That's actually quite nice. Is that a matte? Would I ever wear that though? Is the question. Maybe I'll keep that and just play around with it. What we got? Honey Love. Classic. Nearly run out, but I love it. So I'm going to keep that. Velvet Teddy. Another classic. Going to keep that. Even though it's not actually my favourite nude. I think it's a bit too deep for me. Uh, Lady Danger. I've had this for so long. Oh, but I love it. Look at that colour. I'm definitely going to keep that and try and use it because i just get i just don't use bright lipsticks as much as i should what is that oh my gosh this is my diana morales um lipstick oh i really like that um bit old bit grubby probably should get rid of oh, sad then cockney this is my cynthia wild lipstick uh really lovely red i really like that i've actually got two of these though so i can maybe get rid of one okay well done me getting there um this is a red lip pencil this is really good for when you're wearing red lipstick it's just good red there you go classic gonna keep that um a tester that i never used from keels cool i'll try that out then um this is the foundation that i used for panto and i really really liked it oh at the moment i'm looking for a good um show makeup foundation so if anyone has any recommendations please let me know but just one that i can use every day for a show that's not gonna break me out and also when it's quite hot as well like and i'm like something for when like you're dancing quite a lot um would be great um but yeah that's the one i used for panto and it was really good this bronzer is amazing it's the laguna liquid bronzer just like squeezes out i need to clean all this stuff i'm so sorry this dior foundation is nearly all gone and also i didn't really like it i've heard they've got some other good ones but not a fan of this one, so I'm going to get rid of that. Into the drawers. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I've got this MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, which I use as an eyeshadow primer, which is really good. So I'm going to keep that. Um, then this eyeshadow palette from MAC, I have had for blooming years. I got this when I was on tour. <laughs> Clearly liked that one shade in it. Um, this is really good, but I just don't reach for it. So I'm going to get rid of that. Then over here we have, oh, I really like this. It's the Maybelline Colour Tattoo. Um, and this is in the shade bleh, On and On Bronze. And I really like it. It's just like a really easy, like one colour all over the eyelid type situation. Good if you're running out the door. This I got um, when I did Pantone. This is one of the MAC Christmas Limited Edition eyeshadows. I got it as like a little kind of treat to myself it's a really beautiful glitter it's so nice it's like a pinky silvery glitter i love it that's in the shade major win okay now we are onto brushes and i absolutely love my brush holder courtney got it for me for christmas two years ago when i just started my youtube channel i think it's for christmas and it says just georgie on it because that was my like original youtube handle and it's got my eye on it which i just thought was a really really lovely gift right let's sort some of these out um i'm gonna get rid of this because i just never use it i don't even really know what it's for <laughs> i'm gonna keep this just because i don't have another option for now i put my um eyeshadow primer on with this so i'm gonna keep that from real techniques this is another real techniques and i use this for like my hourglass powder and things like that really really good all over brush mm, i've kind of changed my mind on this brush i used to think it's really nice but i think it kind of is a bit too dense and kind of packs bronzer on a bit too heavily for me so i think i'm gonna get rid of that one this one is just really good and small for putting powder under my eyes i just don't really use these anymore so i think i'm gonna get rid of those i really do like this clinique buffing brush it's got a bit hard over the years um so yeah i need to give that a wash and see if i can soften up a bit but it is, it is good i love these eye shadow brushes from sigma they're really 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 good got these in like a set this is my foundation brush it's from sigma Sig sigma it's the flat kabuki brush really like it and i don't think my camera's focusing on any of these so i'm so sorry there she is in all her glory got this which is quite good for nose contouring so i might keep that 
this is my favorite sigma one it's so 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 good and this one from bobby brown really good as well just for like packing on color onto that outer corner this one is the sigma e25 blending brush um yeah really really good but my absolute favorite eyeshadow brush is this one from zoeva this is the luxe soft crease brush number 221 and it is everything and more this is my highlighter brush from sigma really like it and would recommend this one is so old and it's from mac and it's the no idea brush <laughs> it's basically like the eyebrow brush it's like really tiny and slanted um and it's really good really good for your eyebrows but i do need to get a new one because i'm super mucky this one from mac is the mac 242 this is really good for like packing on color onto the lid this one from iconic london i actually find quite good to kind of like blend in bronzer quite like dense um so i might keep hold of that until i find something better because it's not amazing but it will do the job okie dokie this is the fun drawer so these are my absolute favorite eyelashes these are the 117s and they are amazing actually i don't know if they've changed them for this limited edition thing with paloma faith but these the Paloma Faith ones. If you can get some, you should definitely keep these permanently. I love they're the best eyelashes I've ever used. This is my cup of my Real Technique sponge. Absolutely love these sponges. Really, really, really recommend these. Oh, I love this drawer. I forgot about all the stuff in here. Oh, not in the box. This is my Urban Decay. Oh my god, Born to Run palette. Look how beautiful it is. This is the best eyeshadow palette I've ever bought. It is so, so good. It's amazing and I would highly recommend it. It's the best one Urban Decay's ever released. I'm actually really intrigued by their new Naked one as well. Um, Because apparently it's the same formulation as this. But holy macaroni, this is amazing. Also really love this eyeshadow palette from Urban Decay. Um, Not quite as much as the Born to Run. But just because that's got a bit more variety. But when I got this I was obsessed with it. This is the Naked Heat palette. It's really good. I, I mean this is close second to Born to Run. I just love the colours in here. Such a lovely warm toned eyeshadow palette. This I feel like I should keep because it was my first ever eyeshadow palette. Courtney got it for me and I'm not really like a cool toned gal. But I don't actually know what suits me better cool or warm. I just always seem to buy warm tone palettes. But I don't know if I can get rid of it. I need to not be emotionally attached to things. I think I'm going to get rid of this. This is a powder from Rimmel that I forgot I had. I used this during Panto and I actually really liked it, but I haven't reached for it for a while, so I think I'm gonna get rid of that. This is a palette I got to do my Bloomin' Wicked tutorial, which was just an absolute disaster. It's hilarious. So it's on here still somewhere, I think. Um, but I really like these colours. I think they're really interesting. I actually don't use this ever, <laughs> but I would like to maybe play around with it a bit and see if I can create some cool eyeshadow looks with it. Because and I also think this one would come in quite handy for some kind of some stuff, maybe it might come in handy for shows. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to hold on to it for a bit and give it a bit of a chance. I've got some eyelashes here, which I don't even know why I bought these because I don't wear them because they're huge. But they might come in handy for something and maybe for a show, actually. So I am going to keep hold of those. Oh, I love this. I've got this very blunt NYX um, eyeliner, but I just think that's so cool. So I'm going to keep that and remember to use it. Then I got this. Um, don't ask me why, but I just thought it would come in handy for stuff. I think it's beautiful. Never would I ever wear any of these colours, but hey, <laughs> it's um, fun to have and to play around with. So maybe I'll try and be a bit more adventurous. And these are some single MAC eyeshadows, which I never use. I love that. It's really cool, but I never use it. So I'm going to get rid of it. That's some glitter that I never use. Really, really cold. These are really cool colours from MAC and i think i would probably use that for like under my eye that might be quite cool so i might keep hold of that same for this blue i bought this because i was feeling adventurous one day but i just don't think i'm ever going to use it so i don't know it's a really beautiful color though hmm. i haven't used it for years i should probably get rid of it and this is a black eyeshadow from mac which will come in handy for shows so i'm going to keep that this is a brown What's this? Hoax. I've got so many browns, so I think I'm going to get rid of that. Or give it to Courtney, because she might find a use for it. This is some MAC Solar Bits Pigment Clusters. I think they're really out of date. And I just worry about putting things on my eyes that are really old. Oh, espresso. I do really like espresso. But I think I've definitely got colours like this, so I'm going to get rid of that. Oh my gosh. Cleansing. Right, this... I think this was my Legally Blonde blusher. Aww. I have no idea which one it is because it's rubbed off it's that old it's so bright i've got no hand left 
Mm, I'm going to keep hold of that because it might come in handy for the next show I'm doing. What's this? This is a really old one. Mocha. Ooh. Really nice colour. We we'll like that, but it might be a bit too deep for me. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of that, even though I really like it. This is a sports mascara that I have never opened, um, but it looks really interesting, but I think it's out of date, which is really sad. So I'm going to get rid of that. Got a MAC Studio Fix back here. Oh, whoops, which I've probably just broken, which is slightly too dark for me, I think you'll see. This is NW30. I don't know why I have this. I've got this, which is definitely gonna be crusty and old. So I am gonna get rid of that. Cause this is a Clinique blush, which is a really nice color, but it's very similar to a lot of blushes I have. So I'm gonna get rid of it. Ruthless lipsticks, right? We need to be ruthless now because I do not need all of these. Shy Girl, I got this in Panto and then it melted because I think the room was really hot and I was really upset. I really like that, so I don't know if there's a way I can save it. It's um a really pretty pink, but I'm going to keep it and try and salvage it. Amplified, what's this? That's pretty, but I don't think I'll ever wear it, so I'm going to get rid of that. Look at my hand. <laughs> oh, I don't know what this is. Potentially chilly. I don't know where I got that, but that is a really beautiful colour. But I'm going to get rid of it because I don't trust it. Russian red, here we go. I've got another Russian red. Oh, that one's even more empty than the other one. Maybe I should have got rid of this one. Oh dear. Kind of sexy. This was my stupid Cupid lipstick and I really love it, but it's about to run out. And I think I've got a newer one, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Russian red again. Oh, that one's also quite empty. Uh, Okie dokie. Well, maybe we'll just be getting rid of all the Russian reds then. Diva. Oh, I loved this. Um, This is a really nice, like deep one, but it's really bitty. I found when I've worn it. Um, and I think that it's kind of, maybe it was a bad one or it's just a bit out of date. So I'm going to get rid of that because it's a bit gross. What's this? Living Legend. I got this for Halloween one year and I flipping love it. It's like a proper dark plum um, and great for Halloween. So I'm going to keep hold of that. Ruby Woo. I think this is a slightly newer Ruby Woo. I love Ruby Woo. Oh my God, I've got no room left. Really love that color, beautiful. I don't know if it really suits me, but I do like it. So I'm gonna keep it as it's a classic. Got lots of lip pencils here. Let's have a look through these. And what's this? Oak, oh my God, Oak is the best MAC lip liner. I've been like trying not to use it because it's nearly all gone, but I love this lip liner. We've got a MAC Spice, love MAC Spice. Really nice color, just like a brownie nude. And then I've got Chestnut which is, I think, quite brown, but I'll never wear that, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Brick, I love brick. Brick's like a proper, like, deep, ready brown. A mahogany, ooh, that's like a really deep, ready brown. That would go nicely with Living Legend, actually, so I'm gonna keep that. This is the Kylie Jenner lip pencil. I quite like the lip liner. Hmm, this is Coco K. I got this because Courtney really wanted one, so I got her. I got two and I got her a red one and then I got this as like a backup. I gave her the red one because it was 22 and it was her 22nd birthday. I think I might get rid of this though because I don't actually use it. And then I've got a Ruby Woo lip pencil which matches Ruby Woo and that's the lip liner. Goes along really nicely. So I'm gonna keep that. Then I've got some other stuff at the back here. Holy crud. I've got a lot of stuff. These powder puff things, really nice but I, the shade doesn't really suit me. So I'm gonna give that away. Um, this is the Lip Kylie Jenner Liquid Lipstick in Coco K. Oh my god, it's so dry. I really, really don't like it. Um, and I don't really like the formulation, so I'm going to give that away. I love this from NYX, though. This is the NYX Lingerie. Although I've had this a really long time, but it's a beautiful colour. Oh, come on, arm. Have you got any room left? Such a lovely nude. I don't know how I'm going to show you that. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I need to free up some arm space. I love NYX lip products. This is my favorite formulation from NYX though. Soft matte cream. In Cairo, I've heard that Stockholm's really good. I think this has run out, but this is really good. I'm definitely gonna buy some more of these. I forgot how much I like these. This lip gloss is probably about 15 years old, so I'm gonna get rid of that, but I really like the L'Oreal lip glosses. They smell really nice. Oh yes, I've got another one of these. I flipping love this color. I think this is probably on its last legs too. Oh no, there's actually quite a lot left. Look at that colour. Oh, <gasps> keeping that. I've got this Benefit lip gloss that I got maybe 45 years ago, so I'm gonna get rid of that. This is a Kate Moss lipstick that's seen better days. I'm gonna get rid of that. Kate Moss again. 
Oh, that's a beautiful colour. Oh, that's really nice. But that's quite similar to a lot of things I've got, so I probably will get rid of that. Wow, I'm being so ruthless. This is so unlike me. This is amazing. Liquid suede in sandstorm, I believe. Oh my God, I love this. I've had this for a really long time, but I think it's okay. That's a beautiful colour. Comes up quite brown on me, but I don't mind. Um, then I've got this Benefit lipstick, which I used to really like, but it's, I mean... That's disgusting. So I will be getting rid of that. Um, this Benefit lip gloss is really nice, but I've had it again for about 70 years. So I'm gonna get rid of that. And this, oh, this Rimmel one's nice. Eh, yep, that is as dry as a desert. So I am gonna get rid of that too. Right, let me put everything back in here and we'll see what we are left with. I am gonna be moving out though, so I'm not gonna do it like, I'm not gonna do it perfectly. I'm just gonna pop everything back in. Well, that is significantly less cluttered than it was before. And I've managed to get rid of quite a lot of stuff. So I'm really happy with that. I have definitely downsized and it feels good. <laughs> so there you have it. That was my declutter of my makeup and skincare. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments down below if you like watching those types of videos too, because I all am in love them. Like my whole history is declutters and organization videos and things like that. I absolutely love watching them. So I thought I'd chip in and make one of my own. Loads of the makeup was from shows that are very close to my heart and I really wouldn't get rid of them if I didn't absolutely have to and they weren't completely manky. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and you found it interesting. And let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this one as well. Hope you have a lovely rest of the day and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye!